What is up you guys? It's Katya Bulks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of How You Should Be Training. Now, of course, I'm going to preface this again by saying this is just my opinion and from what I've studied and years of practice on myself of what I very much encourage people to do when it comes to training, their styles, and stuff like that. So check out all the other videos if you want to. Otherwise, today we are going to be talking about like the length of doing a program or a certain structure um, of a workout. Some people, you know, go in and do a different workout every day. Some people will have it structured where it's like, say, push-pull legs, but every day it's just different. Now for me, I do like to keep a consistent record of my lifts so that I could see that I'm progressing. So, for example, I just recently filled up this notebook completely and then just started a new notebook um, and by doing that like I can see you know depending of course on my diet and such like last week I benched this 95 pounds for five reps let's see then I can look back at that and then see this week will I be able to hit it for six reps it just keeps you consistent with not only the gym and yourself with your goals but it also shows that you are progressing rather than like going in, guessing weight and just lifting something. And it also pushes you because say you are adding calories or you're maintaining. The next thing you want to do is obviously push more weight. Or if you're dropping calories, you want to try to maintain your weight and so or maintain at least your strength. So you're hoping that you're hitting the same reps for the same weight, stuff like that. Um, now, when it does come to switching up your schedule and your routine, Definitely, they say about six to seven weeks. Sometimes at that sixth or seventh week, people take a deload. Really depends. They are and aren't necessary depending on the person. Um, that is a whole other thing that I believe I have talked about deloading. If I have a video on that, I will put the card up above. Um, otherwise, it's shown definitely like that when someone's body goes through a cycle, there's a spike in like the mu muscle protein synthesis, but then it drops back down because your body adapts to the workouts you're doing. Do, I don't know, maybe you guys remember the commercials for, what is it, P90X? But as you notice from the commercial, they talk about, you know, adaption and how they twist it up every few weeks so that you're always progressing, always progressing. And that's true with how like the body works. And that's same with like when someone's going through a cut, you keep cutting calories, your body adapts to the calorie, you take a spike, helps it lower down. In a lot of things in life, you know, having that fluctuation helps hit cardio, you know, all these kind of things. But pretty much, um, they have done studies in showing how twisting up your workouts really can make an impact. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm starting a new cycle. Now, I'm not switching up the days of the muscle parts that I'm working out, but I'm switching up from the exercises to the rep schemes, if you know what I mean. So for example, before I would always do building up to a five rep max on bench. Today, I might not do that. What I might do is like, okay, I want to do something heavy bench because I still like to incorporate bench, but not that same rep scheme. So I might do a 10 by three or, you know, a five by six, you know, something that's a lower rep range so it's much heavier. And then instead of my normal second workout, I might twist it up, you know, do dumbbell flies instead of like just dumbbell press. So I'm kind of, playing it by ear this coming week since I'm starting a new cycle, but I just know, okay, today I'm lifting heavy upper body and then tomorrow heavy lower body. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me because we are gonna do heavy upper body today. And let's see what I decide to do for my exercises. And then I'll bring you guys back and we'll recap and I'll say, you know, how I felt about it. And yeah, you guys will see. I just keep track in my notebook of all my lifts and stuff like that so that I can watch myself progressing. So you don't have to get a big notebook like me. You can do it on your phone or something, but it definitely helps with the accountability. Let's just say that. So we are gonna go hit the gym right now. I'm gonna go get my pre-workout and slay. Yeah, what up? <laughs> All right, guys. So we are gonna answer the questions of when, why, how, and how often you should be changing up your workout routine, if anything. So you see media obviously show this whole thing about shocking your muscles or keeping your body guessing. Now when I'm switching up my workouts every six weeks, I'm not really doing that. Um, I'm doing it one, 
mainly because I like to switch up my workouts. You know, sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm kind of getting tired of just doing, you know, barbell squats. I want to do zercher squats. So for me, it's more of a way of getting to implement other exercises into my program. Otherwise, when you see media portray these kind of things for shocking your muscles or keeping your body guessing, that's not true. It's more of a myth. If anything, twisting it up, you know, allows for doing other exercises to trigger a muscle, a different, you know, angle or even different muscles that you may not be getting. Like in the last uh, workout kind of cycle that I did, if you want to call it that, I wasn't really doing anything for rear delts. So definitely this cycle, I kind of want to implement a little more of the rear delts into my um, training as you'll see in this workout today. But yeah, so the truth is like just about every workout routine that isn't completely terrible will work to some degree as long as you provide the time and consistency needed for it to work. So if you're going in the gym, changing things up, you know, that's not, you're not going to get to see that. You're not going to get to see that progression from that workout routine. Now, that doesn't mean that you should never change your workout routine. So, like as I said, I change it up like every six, eight weeks, depending also how I'm feeling. But I want to give it at the least six weeks. So, in order to understand what I mean, we're going to need to answer you know, a few questions. So, when, why, and how often you change your workout routine. So meaning what are the three reasons for making changes? How do you know when it's time to make changes and how frequently should you make those changes? And then also, how should you change your workout routine? Meaning once you finally figure out when, why, how often to make changes, what types of changes should you make? All right, so beginning with the four reasons you should ever change your workout routine. Let's start with numero uno. If what you're doing stops working for an extended period of time. So this is really the most obvious kind of reason why you should switch it. Um, because when it is no longer what it's supposed to do and producing the results it's supposed to produce, that's when you should obviously change up your workout routine. And of course, make sure that you're being, you know, sane here. If you have any crazy unrealistic goals and expectation, no program will ever produce the results that you want it to produce. Second, if your goals change, that's when you change your workout routine. For example, if your primary goal was always strength related and now it's switched to building muscle or losing fat or anything, you know, vice versa, your program's gonna reflect that. You know, someone who's doing powerlifting and then they want to enter a physique competition, they are definitely gonna be switching up their workout routine and their style of training so to aim for that goal. Third of all, which is kind of my reasoning behind my, why I switch up my workouts, is if you get really bored. If you become so bored to death with what you're doing that it's beginning to like even hurt your motivation to go train, then definitely it's time to change something um, or bring something new in, you know, just to bring back that, you know, interest and motivation back to your workout. So again, be realistic here. You can't act like you just get bored with a workout after a week or two. You gotta definitely give it, you know, a chance and time to really give your body time to grow, I guess is the best way to say it. And number four, if something out of your control requires a change. It, let's say some outside reason presents itself and forces you to change something. For example, it, you know, if a change in your schedule warrants a change in your workout, you know, whether you're a student or you work full time, that may change up your workout routine and timing and such. Or of course, if you have like an injury, hurt your ankle, it's not gonna be the same training legs. So you definitely gotta work around that. So stuff like that. So in my opinion, these are the only reasons the majority of the population should ever consider making a change to their workout routine. So what kinds of changes should I be making? Now let's say one of the above reasons does present itself. How exactly should you change your workout? As usual, the answer depends on many different factors. So in most cases, you'd probably be able to keep the overall step, setup and structure of your routine exactly the same and just make smaller changes to things within the workout. For example, if you're doing incline dumbbell press, you could switch that to incline barbell press or the incline hammer strength machine press, which is like what I'm doing here. If you're doing 
standard barbell curls. You could switch that to seated dumbbell curls, many different things. Um, and this is what I do in my programming where, as you saw from the first exercise of the bench, I just switched up the rep scheme, stuff like that. But I'm not really conforming it into like a whole different other thing because my goal is the same regarding wanting to do bikini bodybuilding. So that's why I'm not like doing anything drastically because I still have that same goal. I'm just switching it up because one, I like to do different exercises. So yeah, I don't know. What are your guys thoughts on that? You can always comment that below. So now you ask how often should I make these kind of changes into my workout routine? So pretty much only as often as one of the four reasons that I had presented to you guys earlier, that would be my recommendation. So I know people say things like, yeah, change your, change your workout every so and so week, six to eight weeks. But you know, that's not for everyone. You know, it's for me because I do like to mix it up once in a while. And I did notice when I first started my workout routine at the beginning of the year, I was doing it for months on end and it made it feel like, oh, if I deviated anything from it, I would be messing up my workout routine. And so it gives me that flexibility to try new things. So don't make changes to your workout routine when you have absolutely no reason to. So I hope this answers those questions and just enjoy the rest of this workout and then we will recap. Okay guys, I hope this video was helpful for you guys when it comes to routine and stuff like that. If you have any more questions, do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, if you need even more guidance regarding a scheduling for your workout, stuff like that, please email me. My email is down below for any coaching inquiries. Otherwise, if you did enjoy this, do give it a thumbs up. I enjoyed that push Excuse me. I enjoyed that push workout and I will definitely be repeating that for six, eight, ten, I don't know how many weeks, just depending on how I'm doing, how I'm feeling, and what comes up with my body. But definitely trying, you know, being consistent with it is the most important thing. So go be consistent with your workouts and subscribe for more. The button is right down below. I love you all. You guys are awesome, so go get them gains. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.